Hi, we're Brad and Maggie and we're the Wanderland Travelers. We live and travel full time in our RV, sharing all the adventures and the beautiful places that we stay. We recently purchased this travel trailer. It's a 2003 Northwood Nash 19B. After discovering extensive water damage, we spent eight weeks restoring it and renovating it and making it just the perfect traveling home for us. Today we wanted to give you a tour of the interior and just show you all the changes we made and the little upgrades. Okay, so one of the changes we made that I think had the biggest impact was to paint the walls and cabinets white. It just makes it so bright in here and fresh and clean and it's one of our favorite changes. Uh, we also upgraded the hardware uh, for the handles uh, to something that's much more modern. When we bought this trailer, there was just a couch up here that would fold out into a full-size bed and um, I like my space at night. Having a queen size bed was a must for us. So we built a frame that would support the bed fully because the bed that pulled out wasn't quite long enough. We have a couple more upgrades we wanna to make to it. We're gonna put a solid piece of wood on the front so that our dogs can't get into the storage space under there. And we're also going to put a hinge so that we can lift up the bed and access our storage that's underneath there. Okay, so when we got the trailer, the these uh, reading lights, these little wooden reading lights, were over here along the front. So we moved those over so that they would be next to our head at the head of the bed. Um, it was really easy to do that because we already had the, the aluminum paneling, the siding off of the RV so we could easily reroute that wiring. And we also added a whole new 12 volt circuit to, to do wiring for a bunch of um, 12 volt outlets. You can see one on either side of the bed there, the black outlets there. And then we put one up by the front of the RV, one under the dinette. And we put one more under this uh, cubby at the foot of the bed where we always keep our mobile hotspot plugged in. Another wiring thing we did is to add these two 12 volt fans just hanging down underneath the cabinet there. And those are really nice when it gets hot in here. This vent here had no fan at all in it. We changed it out and put in a max air fan so that we could get that air moving. And we added these three LED flush mount lights that add this really elegant look to the kitchen. One of the more difficult changes that we did was to put this laminate countertop over the old countertop. Brad and his dad installed it with a little difficulty. Uh, if you saw last week's video about completing our repairs, uh, we talked about that a little bit. But it all worked out. We also installed a 12 volt TV and it's on a mount that can pull out, rotate, swivel, whatever we wanna do there. In our old motorhome, we did drink out of our freshwater tank when we bought it, we sanitized it. However, after traveling in it for several years and being in different parts of the country, having different water go through it and drinking different quality of water, we just decided that investing in the Berkey filter made the most sense for us so that we could always feel very confident that we were drinking quality filtered water. The faucet that came in the kitchen was dated, it was yellowed, and you didn't have a whole lot of room to wash large pots and pans. So having this uh, swiveling, taller faucet uh, was a really key upgrade for us. You can install it with this handle in any orientation. And so to have it on the side, it would have hit the wall, which obviously doesn't work. You couldn't turn your hot on all the way hot, or your cold, or whatever. And so um, we installed it in the front. It's got the regular flow, the spray, and then this is a pause button, which is pretty cool. But the pause, you actually have to keep it held in for it to actually work. Pretty sweet upgrade. There are a couple more things that we actually want to change and haven't been able to do yet because timing. So we do plan to upgrade our blinds to roller shades. And another thing that we want to do is reupholster the dinette cushions just because it's kind of dated. The taupe color doesn't really match so well and that's actually supposed to be the backside. And so yeah, we're going to update that. So it's really important to me to be able to stand up while I work. So I bought this little mobile stand-up desk that you can put on any surface and it and it raises to the height that you need so that you can stand up to work. I also went ahead and drilled four screw holes and permanently mounted it to this space in front of the door here. It's obviously, uh, I have to move if Maggie needs to get in and out of the house, but it works for most situations pretty well.
<laughs> <laughs> we also noticed that it was pretty dark in here and it was hard to see stuff in the dark so we just put in a little light in the closet. There it is. The dog's main space is here under our kitchen table. We've got their bed for them. And then on this shelf we have our boxes for our recycling. With all the white, I'm definitely planning on adding more color in here with artwork and plants. I do have a splash of color in the kitchen rug. And we also have more in the bathroom where one of my favorite features is our bright blue door. And when we want, we can prop this open so that it feels a little more open and airy. And we've got just a fun, colorful shower curtain. So this uh, vent in the bathroom had a really wimpy tiny fan when we bought the trailer. So we went ahead and upgraded that as well, put a max air fan in here. So now we can get a ton of airflow moving through by having this one blowing out and the one in the living room pulling in. We didn't like the towel rack on this door. That's how it came. And so we installed our own in the bathroom here, just on this wall. And another thing, um, when we were working on the water damage back here, we pulled off the entire piece of plywood on the back of the, of the roof of the RV. And when we did that, we noticed some framing over here over the shower area that looked like it was made for a skylight, but we didn't have a skylight. But we went ahead and added one. Since the framing was already in place, we just bought the hardware and mounted it and everything's good. And that gives me a little bit of additional headroom to take a more comfortable shower. My head would be definitely hitting the ceiling right now. I wouldn't be able to stand up straight without the skylight. We also upgraded the shower head to this uh, Body Spa Oxygenetics, which is just way, way better than the one that came with the RV. Well, we hope you enjoyed our tiny home tour. That's right, and if you're not already a subscriber, please join our community. We'd love to have you. We make weekly adventure videos of the incredible places that we stay, and quite often for free. So uh, stay tuned for that. Thanks so much for watching, and leave us any questions down below. We almost forgot, if you liked any of the products that we used in this renovation, we have links to them in the description below. If you use those links to purchase them, we'll get a small percentage of the cost and you won't have to pay anything extra. Thanks guys.